Hey guys, Tom here from Metal Loud, and I'm here with another one year later review. This time we're looking at Hodera's album, United by Bird Calls. So as I mentioned in my original review, I discovered Hodera because they put out this album on a uh, small indie uh, record label from New Jersey called All Sounds, who I've interacted with the one of the uh, co-owners of that uh, record label, and through him found Odera and found actually a few other bands as well, uh, but this was probably one of the first bands I actually looked at through that record label. And what I would say from uh, United by Bird Calls is pretty much everything I said in my original review still holds up today. I, I really feel about the same uh, as I originally did. I really, really like this album. It's very deep. It's very emotional. Uh, it's kind of folky, but it also rocks pretty hard as well. Uh, a lot of these lyrics are, are very... Uh, easy to connect with everything about self-loathing and just issues dealing with issues of self-worth and uh, just kind of uncertainty about the future and relationships and things like that and things we, we kind of all go through um, at one point or another so I, I really definitely connected with the lyrics on this album um, and that's something I feel like a lot of people would do as well. So everything kind of kicks off on this album with a track called Breathe Easy, and I think it was kind of the perfect way for them to uh, begin this album because it's a kind of a uh, more of a faster paced song than some of the other stuff on here. It's got a little bit more energy. It starts off with this pretty awesome guitar melody, and it's probably one of my favorite songs that's actually on this album. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, Matthew Smith's vocal work on here is just absolutely perfect, especially when he's belting out um, Can You Breathe, when the whole everything kind of just holds up for a second, and then he comes in with that, and then everything just explodes on, into the chorus. And I really kind of like that uh, dynamic that they have on that track, and it, it really kind of sets the tone for the rest of the album as well. Um, again, probably one of my favorite uh, songs. I still listen to it often today. It's it's definitely found in most of my mixes that I put in my car. I usually include that one at least, uh, as well as a few other ones off of this album. And I think that's just a testament to how well this song is written and produced as well. It really kind of uh, just captures you right off the bat. It's also something that brings me to one of my criticisms of this album. It's not necessarily a negative thing. It doesn't really detract from the quality of this album in any way. It's just that the songs on this album, when translated live, almost sound completely different and, and like brand new songs. And in my original review, I compared the band to Taking Back Sunday and said some of the parts of their songs that reminded me of take something from Taking Back Sunday with that uh, that energy, that kind of post-hardcore uh, style that they were doing. And I really think that after seeing them live twice, that that comparison is only more true at this point because it, it really um, goes back to the first two albums that Taking Back Sunday released where people were kind of saying that they're albums didn't sound like they were live, that the live performances were way more intense and uh, definitely just rocked a little bit harder. Um, again, not anything against the the actual albums, but just the fact that their live shows took everything up to 11. And I think that rings true for Hodera as well. After seeing them, it, there's something completely different about when you see them live. Everything just sounds so much heavier and just so much more intense that it's it's almost again it's almost like a completely different experience like you're listening to a completely different song uh matthew smith's vocal work live is just way more aggressive and intense um and, and kind of more in your face and it's a little bit smoother on the album uh, the guitar work that we get from Doug Gallo uh, at live is, again, just the guitars feel just that much heavier, uh, that much more intense. The bass that we get from Alec Major is, is definitely just more punchier, and the drumming feels faster and, and more intense as well. And it just all combines to, again, a little bit of a different experience that you're going to get from the 
uh, album that you would get from them live. So pretty much what I say in conclusion is how has this album held up very, very well over a year. It was one of my top 10 most memorable albums of 2015, and I only feel stronger about that choice today. Uh, if you haven't heard this album or heard this band, I really suggest checking them out regardless of uh, what music that you're really into. I think they kind of appeal to a very broad audience. Again, a lot of their lyrics are easy to connect to. They're not uh, whiny emo or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. They're more on the folky side. They're definitely a little bit deeper um, and, and more thought out than you'd get from a lot of other bands as well. If you have a chance to see them live, do not pass that opportunity up. They are a ton of fun to see live. Uh, I've been to, again, two shows so far, and I hope to see them more. So United by Bird Calls from Hodera has definitely, definitely held up over time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like it. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more as well. And make sure you're following me on social media, on Twitter, at Metal Loud. Like the Facebook page, which is just facebook.com slash Metal Loud. And make sure you visit the site. Links and everything are down below. Let me know if you have heard this album or if you're interested in this album. What do you think? Um, you know, over a year has this album held up for you? Do you like it? Have you even heard this band or anything like that? Love hearing from you guys. So again, don't forget to leave a comment down below.